What's up guys, my name is Colonel Muffin and today we are going to be doing some napkin shredding. Uh, you can see this is where we left off with the uh, with the dispensers and the giant wall of lava. I still have to fill these up and that's going to take a while so I'll do that off camera. But now we are going to hook this wire up to a to some pressure plates. Um, I let's see. How should we activate the dispensers? Well, one way we, one way we could do it is by let's get up there really quickly. Dang it. Okay, one way we could do it is hooking it up to our proximity detector. Oops, right here. Uh, this works by, if I cover this up. Um, yeah, you can see that. So whenever a player is within 15 blocks of it, it will send out a signal every few seconds. <coughs> so you can kind of see how that works and then this signal will just connect to whatever I want it to connect to so let's see um well first we need a clock so let's build a clock really fast uh, we need some a repeater and we also need some redstone torches to make our redstone clock let's get rid of all this trash so let's see uh, let's make our clock over here torch um, nope there's our clock I can't let it burn out does that burn out? Yeah, that burns out. Yeah, so we're going to hook this up to our dispensers, which are, I think, yep, right under here. Um, how do we do this? Yep. Now let's turn the sound down a bit. All right, but you can see how that works. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of that's kind of frightening. <laughs> now imagine a ton of these. Uh, so <coughs> how are we going to activate these? Dispensers. I think we are going to use our proximity detector. Ooh, shoot! Oh. Um. Except we are, we're going to have to put another one because we have one right here, and I'll probably put another one over here. So let me go into MC Edit really quickly and put another proximity detector over here. So one second. See you in a bit. All right, guys. I went into MC Edits and added another proximity detector. So now, when um, when a player comes within 15 blocks of this, it will send out a signal, which will turn off this torch, which will then activate this repeater and continuously fire arrows. It's kind of annoying, but you can see how it works. Um, so let's turn it off peaceful. Take a look. Any second now, a monster will spawn in there and activate our trap. There we go. See? Yep, and there's a zombie in there.
<laughs> okay, but you can see you can see how that works. Let's turn it on peaceful for now. Okay. All right. So now let's see. So that's the first part of our trap here. Um. Oh, I forgot. We always have to put random pressure plates down to scare him. Oops. What happened there? Uh. Okay. So random pressure plates just to freak him out and make him waste time. And some of these. <coughs> All right. So that's great. Like it. Now here's the second part of our trap. This is actually really sneaky. So this is how it's gonna work. Uh, we're gonna have. We are going to have pistons all along here. So let's grab some pistons. They're going to be sticky pistons. Sticky pistons. And then what's going to happen is he he he. Uh, you can kind of you can kind of see what I'm doing here. blocks here we go but okay so now that's what the second proximity detector is for right here this will cause our pistons to open up um, Yeah, like this. Um. Okay, so our pistons are over here. Oh, uh, I'm going to explain it after I finish building it because it's a bit complicated. Dang it. Um. going on why isn't it working oh okay yeah I know what I did wrong my bad the pistons are going to not go over here they actually have to go one block over one block backwards so over here instead let's fix this really fast oh amateur mistakes like so and then we are going to have a we are going to get rid of these blocks uh, we're gonna power the pistons like this, like this Mm hmm. Hmm. Now let's fix up this wall. Okay. All right. So now, when a player comes within our proximity detector. When napkin comes within our proximity detector, it will send a signal down somehow. Uh, let's see, how should I do this? Now let's, let's just make a ladder of torches. Now let's put this... <laughs> Excuse me, I am still very sick. Very... I hate being sick. Alright, so there we go. There we go. Okay, so you can kind of see how it will work. Now when 
Napkin is just walking along. A monster will spawn and all of oh, wait, let's see. Oh, okay, that's why it's not working. Now it should work. Oh no it shouldn't. Oof. Dang it, I am so unorganized. There we go. Okay. So now when napkin's walking along, you should get a pleasant surprise. Now let's turn it on to easy. Is it going to work? That's odd. Oh, there we go. See? Yep. So, after a little bit, uh, all the pistons will withdraw and Napkin will fall to his death. <laughs> See, that's my little clever trap. I think I'm going to um, tweak this proximity detector a little bit and then clean this place up and let's see uh, okay so we have the diamond block uh, the goal of the map is to find three blocks uh, a glass block a glass block a diamond block and a gold block so we are going to place the gold block right over here and this is where he will get the gold block if you ever survives so this is that is two blocks so far and all we have to do is make one for our glass block which will be in the next episode so thank you for watching subscribe rate favorite all that good stuff and i will see you guys next time oh yeah one more thing um if you haven't noticed i've made my own channel now you can check out uh, an LP series I've started. I don't know if you guys find Minecraft that interesting, but if you guys like the Minecraft stuff I'm doing, you can go over there. Uh, there will be a link right about now. And check out my LP series. And let me know how you like it. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.